Okay, so sorry I was cut off. Um, the total, uh, the time and space part, the, the, the total wave function, including the spatial and temporal part um, uh, of an eigenstate is equal to the spatial part, um, which is a stationary state, times the temporal evolution, the time temporal part of the wave function. Okay, so at, at, at time equals zero, we now turn on a perturbation, okay, and the Hamiltonian now has a second term, okay, that second term, W represents the perturbation, and for example, as we've discussed, it can, it can result from an electric field being applied. If that electric field happens to be applied along the X direction, then we would, uh, then the form of this, um, remember that this has to be in energy units, the Hamiltonian is, um, clearly has energy units, and so the uh, W has to have energy units, um, and so we have, in the case of an electric field applied along the X direction, we would have that W, the pertur perturbation part of the Hamiltonian, is equal to the elementary charge E, if we're applying this to an a charge, an electron, times, an ele times the electric field strength, which is this funny symbol, to differentiate it from the total energy. I didn't want to write just E because that's what we're using for the total energy, um, times the spatial dimension X, <coughs> spatial coordinate X. Okay, so again at time equals zero the system is not in a stationary state for the perturbed Hamiltonian and therefore because of that you have to solve the time dependent Schrodinger equation you can't solve just the time independent Schrodinger equation because um, you're not in an eigenstate okay and so in order to do this uh, in, in perturbation theory it's customary what, what we do is that we um, we will pro we will use an approximation um, for which we we suppose that the that the perturbation is only on for a very short time. Okay, so it's it's on for a short, so delta t, the time that the, the duration that the, that the perturbation is applied is uh, is short, okay? And that allows us to um, to, uh, uh, to, to, to make some approximations which make this much more simple, okay? So, if delta t, the duration for which the perturbation is on, um, is short, okay, then we can approximate the, um, the wave function after some, uh, after delta t, after that short time delta t, equal to, uh, which, uh, to be approximately equal to the uh, wave function that you started with before you applied the, the, the perturbation, okay, and again, we assume that we start with the wave function in, um, in a uh, in a stationary state that is in an, in a, in an eigenstate, okay, plus um, the time derivative of the wave function multiplied by the short duration delta t. Now, so basically, what you're saying is that what we're saying is that the that the um, if delta t is small enough, then the wave function at some differential time delta t uh, after the perturbation is being applied is just equal to the time evolution of the wave function times that delta t. Okay, so it's sort of like a slope times an x-coordinate gives you a new y-coordinate, okay, as we would just do in, ge in geometry. Okay, and we also know that in general we have the time-dependent Schrodinger equation, okay, so this gives us a relationship between the derivative of the wave function the time derivative of the wave function and the Hamiltonian. Okay, so this is just general. This is the this is the t the, um, the time dependent Schrodinger equation. It's always true. Okay, and so what we then can do is we can substitute in for d psi dt. We can substitute in h over i h bar times psi, which is what I've done here. Delta t divided by i h bar times h times psi sub psi sub zero. Okay. Um, and this is this is equal to if you if you look at um, uh, at psi sub zero remember is the uh, is the wave function at time equals zero before you apply the perturbation and that is just in that case at that time um, the wave function is in an eigenstate so psi sub zero psi sub n plus delta t over i h bar times the Hamiltonian acting on um, the initial state, which is h0 plus w times 